Another lesson of Steve Jobs is to have a certain passion. You know, he always believed he could almost will things to be his way when it wasn't working. When they were trying to do the original Macintosh, he pushed and pushed until they got the boot up time shorter, even after his engineer said it can't be done. So he said, don't be afraid, you can do it. sometimes drove people crazy. He sometimes drove the people who worked with him to distraction, but he always drove them to do things they didn't know they'd be able to do. You can always cut corners and make more of a profit by making things a little bit cheaper, not doing it quite as well, not having it be as beautifully designed. But Steve Jobs used to say, if you pursue profits, you're not going to make the world's best product. But if you pursue the world's best product, the profits will follow. So there are times he would do things like on one of the iMacs. He wanted a handle, even though you weren't going to be able to use the handle to move the iMac around, he wanted it to seem like a friendly computer. They said, well, that'll cost more. He said, fine, we're going to pay more because we are really want to make a great product. Steve Jobs once said uh, when the engineers building the original Macintosh said, well, don't we need a focus group to tell us what the customers want? And he said, well, how do the customers know what they want until we've shown them? And he said, you know, he quoted Henry Ford, he said, if I had asked my customers what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse. So in the end, Steve Jobs' phrase was, you have to be able to read what's on the page before it's even written. You have to know where things are going. And that was the type of intuition he had.